Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian. Welcome to my infrared sauna vlog. So this is where I sit in my infrared sauna and I sweat bullets, meditate, detox, talk about spiritual topics that help me keep on track and focus so I can manifest my highest evolution of spirit and soul and everything that I want in this life. <laughs> Dude, today was so intense. I mean, oh my God. So normally when I'm in here, I do this vlog first and then I do the heat and the meditation and whatever. But now I'm doing the meditation and the heat first. So I'm sweating total bullets, 170, 138 degrees in here. And trying to literally get clarity because, like I said, things can get really intense when you're in quarantine. And I've been in quarantine now for, I think, nine days total. And that means not going really out of the house. Today, my dog got out and the pound picked her up, so I had to find her, go find her. Oh God, what an intense day. And so today I want to talk about, because this happened to me today, like, it was so crazy. My dog, and I'm having trouble with this freaking go brain thing, whatever. <laughs> Shit. Let me just get a second of peace. <sighs> Lord help me. All right, so today I'm talking about when you're cooped up with people that are your family that you normally love and adore or maybe you don't even like them that much or maybe you can't stand them before this and you're cooped up with them and you're about ready to kill them, okay? This can happen. I was listening to uh, Smashing Pumpkins today and that song, The Killer in Me is the Killer in You. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know, you don't want to ever get to that point, but the pressure of the fear and all of this unknown and uncertainty and craziness makes everybody feel completely under pressure. And so one little wrong comment or little gesture can set people off in the worst way and then it can cause a, you know, a chain reaction of everybody in the environment. Okay, so this is what has to happen because this happened to me today and it was a shit show in this house. I was like, I'm ready to fucking leave and go and just take the dogs and just go. Where? No idea. In the middle of nowhere, somewhere, Man Montana, I don't even know. And it got really gnarly. <laughs> and so after that calmed down, I had a chance to say, oh my God, how could I have prevented that? That just was the worst thing ever. You know, saying the worst things to each other that you can't take back, but you don't mean. Okay, so if you feel like this is about to happen in your environment and you feel like the volcano is about to erupt, it's critical to call a family timeout or a roommate timeout or whatever it is. And if you, hopefully you have your own room and you can go and isolate, but it's like doing social distancing with, within the home so that you're not always feeding off each other's energy and fear. So if you don't have individual rooms, use headphones or whatever. And if you don't have headphones, put toilet paper in your ears. Believe me, it'll be worth it. Or just literally pretend that you're alone in the home or the room or wherever it is you are. Just pretend that you're alone. Even if you need to put your fingers in your ears and close your eyes and sit in the corner and meditate and do the OM chant. Because disconnecting from other people's energy that or is, you know, panicked or anxiety or angry or any of these emotions that come up during this time, just like my daughter had all these repressed resentments that she's been holding on to forever and I didn't know it till today because that shit came blowing up. But so, use this tool. Always try to breathe too, you know, take a deep breath before you go Bleh! Right? And then wait five beats, right? Maybe take two or three breaths and wait five beats. Another person may be doing, flipping all over the house, screaming and doing every horrible thing, but you still have to be in charge of how you react so that it doesn't propagate the whole furious explosion that can happen. Family timeout, disconnecting via location in the home or headphones or closing your ears or sitting and meditating and whatever it is to disconnect from the energy will help see you through this. Okay, so... I hope that helped. It helps me because, uh, yes, it's bound to happen again. Let's hope not. But if it does, at least I'll hopefully take my own advice and not allow World War III happening in my house. All right. So please subscribe. I'm going to be here with this throughout this whole ordeal. Try to do videos every day. My readings are super discounted. I'm going to give $25 to charities to feed people. So... 
please tune in. Please subscribe. My readings are super, super discounted. I'm going to try to give <clears throat> at least $25 of every hour reading to a food drive that's going to get food to the people right away. Um, and so stay safe and please check back. I'm doing videos every single day through this. I'll be there with you. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I'll try to answer. I'll try to do free readings even if you have specific questions. So thank you so much and...